Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to use LangChain with Azure AI Foundry for retrieval augmented generation, which is RAG. So now if you have been working with AI application like chatbots, you know how crucial RAG is. It helps your AI to provide personalized information or answer by pulling in information from your knowledge base. In case of Azure, most people use Azure AI search, which was previously known as cognitive search to handle the RAG part. It's a fully managed service that takes care of the chunking, vectorization and the semantic ranking all behind the scenes. But here is the catch. Actually, it can get pretty costly. And if you're sensitive to operational costs, then it becomes a problem for you. And that's where the LangChain comes in. By using the LangChain's open source RAG framework along with the Azure AI Foundry, now you can leverage the powerful embedding and the chat model from Azure OpenAI while saving a lot on cost. So now instead of relying on a managed service for everything, you can store the vector data either locally or use cost-effective options like Azure Cosmos DB or the Redis. And you know what? This can actually cut down your rack cost to more than half. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up the LangChain RAG with Azure AI Foundry. So we'll be using the Azure OpenAI embedding model along with Azure OpenAI GPT model too. However, instead of using a vector store like Azure Cosmos DB or the Redis, I'll save the data locally. So let's start with the step-by-step -step deployment of LangChain with Azure AI Foundry in this lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now and let's start with the creation of Azure AI Foundry hub. So click on Azure AI Foundry, go to Azure AI Foundry, create a new one. So I'll create a new resource group, RG LangChain and name will be Shalinda Hub Foundry 01. I'll use the region East US2 because I have enough quota for embedding model as well as chat completion model there. So first project LangChain, I'll just name it as LangChain01. Next, rest everything is default and I'll just create it. Once the hub and project is created, then I'll open the hub in Azure AI Foundry portal. So I'll pause the video now and we'll be back once the deployment is done. So the deployment is complete now and the hub and the project has created. So let's go to the resource, which is AI hub for now and go to Azure AI Foundry portal. I'm in Azure AI Foundry portal and I'm into the project now, which is LangChain01. So if we'll go to the models and the endpoints, let's deploy our model. First, we'll deploy 4.0 chat completion model, which will be used by our chat. And then we'll deploy our embedding model. So let's deploy this in East US2 region. Deploy. And the model is deployed now. Let's deploy another base model, which will be embedding model. And let's use the small text embedding model. And this will also be in East US2. And deploy. So both the models are deployed now. Now the next step is that we'll use the Python code where we'll use these two AI Foundry models, which is chat completion model and embedding model along with LangChain, where LangChain will do the chunking and vectorization of the data and save it. And later using the chat completion model, we'll do the RAG search on it. So I've already deployed the code. So let me quickly show you. So first of all, there are certain requirements of the packages which needs to be installed, which is LangChain Core, LangChain Azure AI, because it's supported now in using the Azure AI. It's PyPDF, this is Python PDF module, FAISS, which is Facebook AI similarity search that is used by LangChain. And Python dot environment, this is for environment variable, Azure identity is for Azure authentication. And this module is required 
so that I can show you the chat application in the web page. And then you have to define the environment variables where you have to define the endpoint as well as the key and then the embedding model. So we are using the small embedding model. Let me cross check this. Yes, that's correct. And let's copy this information too. So you have to provide models here because there are multiple model and copy the key. And this is the build.pdf is the file. So this is Victorian government, which is Australian government building permits. So this is the information about it. So we are going to ask the question to the, in the chat about this information and it will be provided along with the source and then the applications file. So now it's importing the OS environment variables and flask this is so that I can show a chat application because I'm using index.html along with this and it's using the Azure key credentials then Langchain community. This is where it's using the Python PDF loader for loading the Python file, then splitting it. And for vectorization, it's using the vector stores, FAISS. And it's using the chains for retrieval question and answer, which is kind of an AI search. Now, because Langchain has integration with Azure AI Foundry, so there are modules for it, Langchain Azure AI for embeddings as well as chat model. So now these are the different helper functions where we are loading and splitting the PDF file. We are defining that function where we are using the indexing and the different vector store. So here we are saving it locally, but you can use the Cosmos DB. And one more thing, because now we have uploaded the file in the same folder. However, this is not the case when you are deploying the application into an enterprise so in that case, you will be using some blob storage or somewhere that also you can integrate here. Now, um, loading all the environment variables here, as you can see, and then Azure AI embedding model, as well as chat completion model, they are getting initiated. And now if this is the part where, where, where we are calling the helper functions, we are loading and splitting the PDF vector stores and then running the QA chain or for the vector store. Now the actual application where we are doing the query, if it's asked, it's you are an helpful assistant and will provide the query and it will provide the result based on the search data. And then it's running on port 8000. So let's run this application. And before we run any application, we have to use the virtual environment which I have already created. So I'll just activate it. Activate. So now it's activated and pip install hyphen R requirements. So this will install all the required packages though. It's already installed for me now. So all good. Now let's run this application app.py. And as and soon you will see that a folder will be created here. So it's indexing and it's done and you can see FAISS index. So this indexing and vectorization is done here and it's saved locally. Now let's open the browser and localhost 8000. And perfect. Now we have the chat application ready. Let's ask the question from the document. Let's open the document and find some questions here okay now this is retaining wall any retaining wall less than one meter in height is exempt from a building permit let's ask this question is the building permit required for retaining wall And perfect. A building permit is not required for retaining wall if it's less than one meter in height. And it's providing on page four, you can find this information because we have set the value of K as two. So it's providing the two different source. However, what we are getting is the information from the first source itself. 
So perfect. This is what I wanted to show you. Now using the LangChain open source, we are doing the chunking and vectorization of the PDF data and then getting that data from the knowledge base using the LangChain itself. So if we create a complete application where we integrate the storage account, where the PDF files will be loaded, and instead of saving those vector stores locally, and if we save them in Cosmos DB, then it will be a complete application which will replace Azure AI Search. Though the benefit of AI Search is that it's a managed application. So it's a fully managed application. You don't need to do anything. All the chunking vectorization will be taken care by itself. However, in this case, you have to maintain your Cosmos DB. Then you have to define how the chunking and vectorization happens in the code itself. Though this is a wonderful option because, because LangChain is now integrated with Azure AI Foundry. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.